Today we're going to have a very short and sweet tutorial about a feature introduced in InDesign CS3 that I think just about everyone who works in InDesign will find very useful. And it's a feature that I've noticed many people don't know about, and that feature is how to switch from your type tool back to your black arrow selection tool without having to use your mouse to go up and select that tool in your toolbar. Now as you probably know, the big programs in the Adobe Creative Suite, namely InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator, have simple letter key commands that you can use to switch the tools in your toolbar. So here in InDesign, for example, if I start out with my black arrow selection tool, and I want to change to my white arrow direction, direct selection tool, I can simply press the letter A. And that's the keyboard shortcut for my direct selection tool. If I want to select my pen tool, I can press the letter P. And notice now my pen tool is selected. I can press M for my rectangle tool. I can press R for my rotate tool. I can press T for my text tool. And in order to find the keyboard shortcut for a particular tool, all you have to do is just hover over that tool, toolbar button. And so right now I'm over my scissors tool. And then in that, in parentheses, you can see that letter C. That tells us that the letter C is the keyboard shortcut for scissors. So if I press C, now my scissors tool is selected. Now here's a problem that often comes up. If I'm working in my type tool, and I actually have my text cursor in a, box, a block of text, and say I uh, just finished typing something, I'll say watch the elaborate patterns, okay? and now I want to switch back to my selection tool. Now in the past, you couldn't actually use a keyboard shortcut to select that tool because if you did use the appropriate keyboard shortcut for the selection tool, which would be V, I'll press, I'll type, I'll press V, and then all that does is just press, type the letter V in your text box, and that's not what you want. And so in the past, you always had to use your mouse to go up here and select your arrow key. Now there's a way to get around that so that you do not have to lift your fingers off the keyboard and that is the escape key. So I'm going to put my cursor back in my text box for the word home and I'll say near your very large home and I want my, select, my selection key. I simply press escape and look now my selection, my selection tool is selected and notice that my text box is selected. The uh, text cursor goes away and that is my selection tool. I'm good to go. And this saves a ton of time. This may sound trivial to um, people that don't use InDesign or don't work in text that often, but if you work with text a lot, um, you will know that having to go back to, up to that toolbar was always kind of a pain. Um, because you're always having to put your hand on your mouse and go up here back and forth all the time. Now, you never have to do that, just press escape, and that's just another little time saver that InDesign has introduced to uh, InDesign CS3. And that's our InDesign Junkie tutorial for the day. I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.